everyone and welcome back to George's Books 83 and today we're going to be looking at the book Sunflowers in February by Phyllida Shrimpton. Um, this is more of a young adult read I feel and this was part, this was the book for February for my uh, local book club. It's quite an interesting one this one. It was very easy to read, I read it really quickly. Um, kind of what I would call light reading almost, you know, it's it's not too, the language isn't too complicated, uh, like I say, it's easy to get through, it's got short chapters, it's got, I'm not totally sure on the idea of, or how the chapters are set out, but some of them, it's not got numbers, it's got like these little sunflower petals, and then some of the chapters have got like a full sunflower um, I'm sure there's some pattern to it, but um, I haven't figured it out. So basically, this book follows Lily. Uh, Lily is 15, I think, and she wakes up one Sunday morning and she realises that she is, in fact, dead. Um, so this isn't a spoiler. This is what it tells you on the back. So that bit here. Um, and it says, Lily wakes up one crisp Sunday morning on the side of the road. She has no idea how she got there. It is only when a police car arrives and she sees her own body that she realises, in fact, she is dead. Um, it's, it's a really fun book. Uh, nobody can see or hear her, however hard she tries. So what is she supposed to do next? Then Lily is given a once in a death time opportunity. Will she take it? So it turns out that Lily has a twin brother um, who she is very close with and they have this sort of twin thing going on. Um, it's quite interesting. So like when, once she's dead, she's sort of following her family around and um, seeing everything they're doing and things like that. And almost like she's stuck. She doesn't really know what she's supposed to be doing now. Um, so it kind of follows her journey. I won't tell you what happens in the fact of the once in a life death time opportunity because that would spoil the book. Uh, but yeah, it's really lovely. Um, it, at one point, I did feel like it may have been a bit too extreme maybe. But all the same, I still really enjoyed it and um, it had a great ending. I'm very fussy when it comes to endings. Um, I don't like, I like it to finish in a way that I would maybe write it or if it's a film, how I would want that to finish watching it. Um, yeah, and this one was really good. I was really happy with how it ended. And I mean, the story alone is good, but look at that book cover. I mean, is that not one of the prettiest book covers that you will ever come across? I almost feel like, because I do, ha I do pass my books on sometimes when I've read them, and I. But this one, I feel like I really need to keep in my book collection because, mainly because of this. Um, also because it is a really good story. I do feel that like I, I do quite like young adult fiction because it's um, it is easy to read, and when you don't have much time, it is nice to be able to to get through things. Um, it does tell you a bit about Phyllida Shrimpton, if you haven't heard of her. Um, she's a full-time mother of a teenage daughter, and she currently lives in Essex with her husband. Uh, they're rescued Newfoundland and a small, badly behaved Jack Russell. So I thought that was quite a nice little uh, add-on there. There's no other information as to... I think this was her first book. There's no other information to whether she wrote any more or not. Um, let's have a look. So this book was a 2018 book as well, so it is a little bit older now. Um, but it's still one that I would recommend, especially if you want something sunny to read. It's just one of those, it gives like a feel-good book, this one. Um, even though it's about death or it sounds really weird. But it is a feel-good book. Uh, I really enjoyed it. The character of Lily is good. I did get a little bit cross with her at times, um, which if you read it, you will know why. Uh, but then also you sort of really feel for her because she's only 15 and she sees her friends carrying on with their life and she's not got hers anymore. So I definitely would give this book, I think, maybe four out of five. 
I don't think I'd give it the full five because sometimes it can get a little bit, like I said, a little bit extreme, a little bit, uh, a bit too far fetched. Um, but I really enjoyed it. The writing was really good. Like I said, easy to read, easy to get through. Uh, let me know if you've read this book or if you think maybe it would be something that you would enjoy. I did. I do tend to find if I'm looking for a book that I need to read for book club or something, I do tend to find them on, on eBay or Amazon. So, you know, I do get them quite a little bit cheaper um, and this one can be found on there quite easily. So thanks for listening to that, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this one. Like I say, let me know your opinions on this book if you've read it and I will see you soon for another review. Bye.